to Sally Entertainment. I'm your host, The Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Coquitlam Outlaws versus the Ridge Meadows Rustlers. Live from Poirier Sport and Leisure Complex in beautiful Coquitlam, British Columbia, this is the Saturday Morning Showcase. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. Well, 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 welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you've clicked on this video, and you haven't yet, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get into the Saturday Morning Showcase. Green, right here in the yellow with the black trim, we're having a look at the Coquitlam Outlaws, and they have Auburton in between the pipes for them. And on the other end, right in front of our very eyes, it's the Ridge Meadows Wrestlers, and they have Renaud in between the pipes for them, wearing those red jerseys with white trim. Hello, Auburton, and hello, Renaud. Green, this is a phrase. Fraser Valley North U13 C1 slash C3. It's a league game. It's also a banner game from what Ooh. I just learned. And also, I want to take a quick second to apologize in advance if I mispronounce your name or your number, mainly your name. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't get mad. I do it all the time. It happens all the time. And that was a lot more than a second. Yes, it was, Green. It was a couple seconds. <laughs> and right off the bat, I'm knowing a lot of tuck jerseys, so it's going to be tough to get a read on these names. Got some little tuckers. Diving back into the action. Ooh. Look at that shot by number eight, Slaughter. He's, he was going for the slaughterhouse there, Green. Yeah, he almost pushed it in front of his goalie. Oh, man, great pressure by the Rich Meadows Rustlers right off of the bat, and Auburton makes the save. Yep, right away they're into it. Instantly green. I believe that's number 12. Sanderson, who has that puck, uh, gives it up to the Ridge Meadows wrestlers. Number seven, Stefanucci. Stefanucci has the puck. Gains the zone of the Coquitlam Outlaws. Making some moves. Has a shot. Oh, nice nice shot. pass saved by Auburton. Followed up by number five, Kane. And Auburton staying strong between those pipes. Very nice save by the goalie. It was indeed green. Yep. Uh, number seven, Sims battling away with it. Held in by, uh, or sorry, uh, Working it out on the boards was Sherman right there. A big battle on the near side right here is uh, number 11 gets away with it. Uh, Rennie. Rennie has a puck. Stop short. Down low on the near side. Rennie having a look. Fires it up high. Oh, trying man. to go high side. That was a nice work by him as Kalma going to collect that puck. Kalma has it. Fires it out front of the net. Picked apart by uh, Ridge Meadows wrestlers player as they go wrestling in the neutral zone. Number 13, William. Uh, oh, William making moves as a shot. Another big save by Auburton. Wow. Way to split the D and then just bounces into the middle and takes a beautiful shot. Auburton is making some fantastic saves right now, Green. Yeah, both goalies are, man. This is a really good game right off the start. It is a very, very oh, good game. Oh, he tipped it in. Whoa. Did you see that? Look at that goal, Green. I did. Unbelievable oh, goal man. by Sherman. Uh, it looks like that was tipped from a Ridge Meadows yep. Rustlers player. And I think it went off the shaft of his stick. Watch his replay, dude. Okay, here we go, Green. I'm watching. Uh, Sims carries that puck in. The captain of the Coquitlam Outlaws, Sims, turns around from danger. He's getting pressured by Lind. Sims throws it to the point. There's Sherman. Sherman lets it go, and it was actually tipped off of the yeah. Ridge Meadows Rustlers. Number 11, first stick, and it fooled Renaud and went up and in the back of the net. Oh, man. That's going to be Sherman's goal, and a beauty one at that. I was in such dip just belief when it happened you hear it like he jumped it in like i couldn't believe it <laughs> it was a fantastic goal green yeah i mean unfortunate for for ridge metals on the tip but great goal it was a, a very great goal yes and definitely unfortunate for the ridge metals wrestlers but fortunate for sherman and the coquitlam outlaws dude i thought it was gonna go in anyway that's why i was so shocked when it tipped off the middle of his stick yeah it was it was a great one green we could watch that over and over again yeah those don't happen very often man no they do not that might be a first one that we've seen like that in a very long time yeah we've seen lots of tips but like the middle of the stick like that it was just a it was Just a great a angle. It was nice looking. And uh, let's move on from let's that go. and dive back into the action, Green, as uh, Ridge Meadows wrestlers are in the zone. Tuck Jersey making a bunch of moves. Has a shot. And look at a pad save by Auburton. Nice save. I think that was number seven, Stefanucci. Uh, number 13, Willard has a puck. Willard throwing it up. Uh, Stelps has a puck. Stelp from the... Oh, here it is. Ridge Meadows wrestlers right out front. Oh, my goodness. What? How did Auburton make that save? What an enormous save that was. Who is this goaltender? Is Clark Kent Green. He took off the glass. And he's Superman in between the pipes right now. Oh my God, point blank too. Right in front of him, Green. The Ridge Meadows wrestlers can't believe that they didn't bury there. That was an enormous save. And they're they're applying a lot of pressure right now yeah. to the Coquitlam Outlaws. But the only reason that it's one-one is because of Auburton in between the pipes. 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, Rennie had the puck dished off to Sims. Sims on the near side, throwing it back down, was looking for the point, number nine, Blanchett, but it, it's turned around, and it's seven, Stefanucci from the Bridge Meadows wrestler. Stefanucci making some moves. Uh, oh. Can't get around the defenseman, number nine, Blanchett. Blanchett moves that puck, trying to get it out of their zone, but it's held in by Slaughter. Now it's the captain who moves it out. Number seven, Sims. Oh, nice Sims making moves to get around Firth. Sims all alone has a shot. Nice. I don't know if that was a save or if he just shot wide. No, it went off the blocker. That was a nice save by yep. Renaud then. Very nice save. As we move back into the action, number 14, uh, Hassan Ali feeds it off to uh, number 9, Blanchett, but it's held in by Slaughter, who dumps it all the way back down. Uh, number 14, Hassan Ali going to collect that puck for the Coquitlam Outlaws. Uses the far side boards now as uh, Kalma going to collect it. Nice work by Kalma. Got to be careful of the offside, but it, it's even. Kalma, the captain, Sims has a puck. Sims feeds it right over to number 11. Oh, uh, Rennie is, oh, oh my God. goodness. Number 7, Sims gets the first goal for him. <laughs> the second for the Outlaws, and he does a little Fortnite dance. Yes, sir. I love it. A I big, love it. big goal by the Outlaws going up two in this very evenly matched game. Man, it all happened right here from just a, a little mistake. I thought that was offside, but it wasn't. But no, I guess it wasn't. And no. look at that. Nice pass from Sims right to Rennie. Or Rennie has that puck. It's right there. And Sims goes driving towards the net, pulls it from his back and his foreheads, and chips it up and over the pad of Renaud to get that beautiful goal. And here at Sally Entertainment, <laughs> my favorite part is the Sally. They're looking, they were looking right at us. You see that? Yeah, I think they might know that we're here, Green. I, I think, like it. I, I think, like uh, it. I think the secret's out, boys. Two to nothing. The Coquitlam Outlaws over the Ridge Meadows wrestlers yes, so far. Yes, uh, Number four, Gatson has a puck. Gatson gains his own. Uh, let's the Gat oh, go. Nice and a save. big save by Renaud. Gatson unloaded the Glock there. Dude, and then he came sliding across the net with a huge save with the pad. It did. Oh, intercepted. Oh, my goodness. That was a rocket of a shot. I couldn't get her number, though. Yeah, I missed it. Well, I'll see it again. She'll come back around. Yeah, there she is. Number two, Glenn. Glenn, the assistant captain, backhand pucks that puck. Offside. Backhands that puck is what Back. I meant to say. Backhand pucks that puck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's okay. We just came from the other arena. We're just jumping arenas today. We did. We just came from a game. Now we're doing this. And, I mean, we, we already apologized for making mistakes. Yep. We fumble words. We miss call names. And, uh, yeah, that's our trademark. And what an opportunity by number four, Stelp. But, again, <laughs> Overton shuts the door. They should have just slid the goalie in the, goal, in the net. Yeah, just pushed him in. What, would, does that count as a goal if the goalie slides? No, that would have not count. It would be goalie okay. interference if you push the goalie in. <laughs> right, right. What Come was on. What were you thinking? How I many, don't know. How, many how games long have, we have you been watching hockey for? How long have we been doing this? And that's the end of the first period. Two to nothing. The Coquitlam Outlaws over the Ridge Meadows wrestlers so far. Great start for the Outlaws. Listen, if you've made it this far and you haven't yet, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. We're on the road to 2,000, baby. Back in the action on Saturday morning for the Saturday morning showcase. And again, the Ridge Meadows wrestlers applying pressure. Green, I'd like to say it's been a great start for the Coquitlam Outlaws. Yes. But, I mean, the wrestlers, I think, have had more time on attack in that first period. Uh, I agree. They've had a lot of shots on net. I mean, Auburton has made a whole yep. bunch of saves. Yep. And that is clearly from the pressure that the out, uh, wrestlers have been giving. And looking at the roster... Green, the publicly available roster online on the PCAHA <laughs> site that anyone can look at. Um, I noticed that the Rich Meadows wrestlers are short bench this game. Dude, super short benched. We're comparing what do they got? Two, we're looking four, down six, to the whiteboard. Eight, and ten kids? There That's is a big really difference. Yes, I believe they have five or more less kids than the Coquitlam Outlaws. As the Outlaws have a shot, nice save by Renaud, and we're going to run that one back. They uh, should still play Number 17, Lord feeds it right over to number nice seven, move. Sims. Look at that. Big save by Renaud. That was a really nice pass, too. This is the goaltender show here tonight, Green. That's yep. what I'm seeing. I agree. As uh, number 17, uh, Parsons is whacking away at it for the Outlaws. Glenn had a stab at it. As the wrestlers who get it out of their zone, though. Number 13, Willard has wheels. The wheels of steel for Willard gets taken down by number two, Glenn. And the referee's going to call trip. what I'm going Yep, that will be a trip, Green. Yes, sir, Ski. We saw it. You got buzzed. In. We're going to run it back just to be sure. There's a whack of the stick. The skates collided. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like a trip. But slow motion always looks different than real time. And, uh, I yeah, mean, real time the first. skates collided, so I guess they consider that as a trip also. Uh, yeah, you got to be uh, careful of your entire body. 
Yep. Uh, as we've learned watching millions of hockey games and still making millions of mistakes. <laughs> On ice and off the ice, you got to be careful with your body. <laughs> yep, that is very true, Green. Uh, back in the action we go. Number eight, Slaughter uh, from the Slaughterhouse throws it up, looking for an outlet. He finds number five, Kane. Kane dumps it deep down in the zone as uh, Lord going to collect that puck for the Coquitlam Outlaws. Lord, oh, Lord throws it on the far side, intercepted by Ridge Meadows. Wrestlers and Auburton smartly freezes that puck yeah. to get a whistle because there was a lurker from the wrestlers waiting on right by him. Prowl. He was on the prowl. He was indeed, Green. Was uh, number four, for Gatson has the puck. Gatson rings it around to the far side, giving chases. Sims. Sims. Oh, oh, man. Sims. I don't know if he got tripped up or what happened, but uh, we're going to run it back and see exactly what happened. He's going to slash. I was going to say because he just hacked him there, man. Well, let's have he a look. Was almost, it was almost a hit. Look. Oh, yeah. That's a big time slash oh, right man. there. By Sla 100%. Slaughter Green. He slaughtered him with that slash. Yeah, he thought he was a piece of beef and he was going to hack him in half. Yeah, he's just he's just trying to get money, man. <laughs> the butcher. It's, it's, it's slaughter time, baby. Uh, <laughs> the butcher coming. <laughs> Can't finish that sentence. Butcher's coming. Nope. Yeah, stop there. <laughs> If anyone knows hip hop, the oh, Lord talking go. about. Uh, here we go. Uh, number four, Gatson. Uh, nice work by the Ridge Meadows wrestlers. Yes. Oh, man. To take that away, there's a penalty on the play, though. He's going to go in for tripping, I think. Oh, well, let's yeah, have a look it, at it. Kid. It was. It was tripping. I mean, that almost could have been a penalty shot because look at it. Let's have a look. Who picks this up? Number four. Oh, yeah. Four? Number four, See, Gatson. He's away with it, man. Oh, man. That could have been a penalty shot. Number 12, Cook comes in and absolutely yeah. cooks him on the stove. And uh, I probably would have gave him a penalty shot on that. I would have. He was too. away with it, right? Yep. You're absolutely right, Green. Um, he was away with it. He had full control. He yeah. was one on zero with the goalie. Yeah. I think he should have got a shot for that. What? Well, what do you do? Play continues on. Blanchett lets it go. Nice save by Renaud. Now they just got to capitalize on the power play. Uh, yes. If you're a Coquitlam fan, they do. If you're a Ridge Meadows Rustlers fan, they got to get that puck out of the yeah. zone. Yeah. We are non-biased in our commentary, nope. no matter who we got brought out from. Uh, that's why people love us, Green. We don't take favors. Oh, he got stripped. Oh, that was a nice one as the Ridge Meadows Rustlers take off in the neutral zone. Ridge Meadows Rustlers getting whacked. Great defensive work by Blanchett as it uh, gets taken away right back to Sims. Sims is definitely one of the dominating players in the Coquitlam Outlaws nice team. Save. Has a shot. There's another oh! save on that goal. And look at that beauty. I think that was number 11. Rennie who got the goal. Dude, how did he even sneak that past? A it little such a sharp angle. A little sneaky goal, little Green. sneaky. We're going to have a look right here. Great defensive work by yeah, Blanchard really to good. start this all off. Gives it right to Gatson. Gatson fires it up right to Sims. Sims in the zone of the wrestlers. Let's it go and watch number 11. Rennie, come out of nowhere. Boom! Right place, oh. right time. I think that went 5 hole. I think so, too. I thought it went past his right leg, but you're right. It, it might went, it looked like 5 hole. I don't know, Green. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just speak in words coming out of my mouth. We just do our best uh, and forget the rest. We, <laughs> we forget all the rest. Set it and forget it. 3 to nothing. the Coquitlam Outlaws over the Ridge Meadows wrestlers so far. It's a good game. Number 6, O'Brien goes down uh, again. Sims gets away with that puck. Nice work by the defense of the Ridge Meadows wrestlers. Number 4, Stelp has it. Stelp trying to get in the zone. Now he does as the Ridge Meadows wrestlers trying to apply pressure. Number seven Stefanucci uh, is trying to pressure Lord but Lord is too much of a Lord there for him oh Lord gave it away to 13 Willard who has a shot Ooh. and a big pad save by Hoverton Rich Rich Meadows really turned it up in the last couple minutes eh? yeah well green I think they were dominating the first period yeah uh, even though the score didn't show it the second period I think Coquitlam Outlaws have come to life yeah they got a couple goals right That's but the pressure has been more it doesn't yep. matter because the Coquitlam got more goals yep. in the first but I think the wrestlers had more chances um, I would have to agree with you. Anyways, uh, I mean... Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> uh, Parsons down low gets stripped by number seven, Stefan Ucci, who fires a puck all the way back down. Uh, number nine, Blanchett going to collect it. Blanchett fires it all the way back to uh, the assistant captain. Can't get a read on the number. Has a shot, and there it is. That was four. Okay, that's Gatson. Ooh, nice little shot. No, oh, we got the push. He's going to, he was going back for so him. Pushy and shovey. Gatson feeds it right to... Uh, uh, lines on the point, a tuck jersey lets it go all the way back deep down low. Number four, Gatson is there to handle it. Nice Gatson play. feeds it right over to Blanchett. Blanchett lets it go just wide as Glenn hustling after that puck feeds it right to number four, Gatson. Gatson turning around, trying to go for a wraparound. Nice save by Renaud on that. Gatson has that puck back. Gatson looking for Glenn, uh, finds Glenn. Glenn goes right back to the point. I think that might be Sherman, but I don't know because the jersey's tucked. Maybe you should untuck your jersey if you know that's Sally Entertainment. 
Simon's coming so we can read your number. Uh, number nine, Blanchett. Blanchett lets it go. Tipped oh. it. Oh, my goodness. It sneaks in. I think that was with the help of number four, Gatson. Yeah, you could just see that puck just bouncing away, not even fast, just bouncing into the net. It was bouncing everywhere, Green. There was a lot of traffic, and that is how this goal happened. Um, goalie probably had a tough time seeing in front of all those bodies. They make right better here. doors and a window. Number nine, Blanchett gets the goal. It hit the oh, stick at number dude. four. Look at it. It's, it's bouncing everywhere. And number four uh, came in and swooped that one home. So that was Gatson's as it was bouncing all over the place like your kid in a trampoline park. That is the second unfortunate accidental tip by Ridge Meadows. Uh, no, I believe number four, Gatson from the Coquitlam Outlaws oh, right. tipped it. So right. uh, you are wrong. As usual, I'm correct. And uh, we're going to run this. Continue to run the commentary back. Four right. to nothing. Coquitlam Outlaws over the wrestlers so far. As Green's going to openly admit his mistake nope, right I'm here. No, I'm not. That was two tips by Ridge Meadows. The first goal <laughs> that Outlaws got, it was tipped off the Ridge Meadows. And that one just got tipped off Ridge Meadows. Showcasing that males are indeed stubborn. <laughs> uh, here we go. Slaughter. I, re I remember. Absolutely slaughters. Number 14, Hassan Ali. Labels him green. Number Dude. 15, Min coming in there to back up his team. Great work by him. Uh, but Slaughter's going to have to go sit. Is he going to get a body check completely? I don't know, Green. I don't know. And again, you know what? I also want to apologize if... Uh, no, nah, actually, no, I don't. Yeah, don't. You, said, I don't. you, you apologize I, I've said much. sorry enough. I don't need to apologize anymore. You live your whole life apologizing to people. You're never really going to win. That is very true. Uh, oh, Sanderson nice got taken down. The puck's bouncing away. Sanderson picks it right back up for the Coquitlam Outlaws. Sanderson feeds it over to Min. Min lets it go from the point. Um, Tuck Jersey going to fire it blindly in front of the net. Picked up by, I think that was Stelp, and he fires it all the way back down into the Coquitlam Outlaw zone. Rolling puck. A rolling puck indeed. Keep Green. rolling, rolling, rolling. I think rolling. that was number 10, Lee, who handled that puck. Sorry. Right off to number 12, Sanderson. Right back to oh, Lee. that was risky. Lee fires a puck, but he, he made it to number 11, uh, Rennie. Rennie now has that puck. Rennie feed it over to Sims. Sims got number 12, Sanderson with him. Sims takes a shot. Nice save by Renaud as uh, Sims going to collect that puck on the near side. Looking for the point man right there. He finds a Min. Min having a skate. Fires it from the point. Just past uh, number 11, Rennie, as Willard hammers that puck, trying to get it out of their zone. Number four, Stelp, trying to assist <laughs> him in getting that puck out of the zone, and it finally happens. I noticed that uh, Coquitlam uses their point a lot, eh? It's good, Green, yeah, especially really good. The, since this is uh, sea hockey. Yep. Uh, yep. the, the awareness to use your point is, is fantastic. It's smart hockey. You'd think they'd have a former rep coach or something going on, Green. Maybe they do. Maybe they do indeed. You never know. Uh, back in the action we go. Rennie feeds it right over to number nine, Blanchett. And that's the end of the second period. Four to nothing. The Outlaws over the wrestlers so far. Almost got a buzzer beater. Listen, if you still haven't and you made it this far, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. And let's get back into the Saturday morning showcase, the baby. Third and final period here on Saturday morning at the Saturday morning showcase. Kids, there's nothing better than waking up on Saturday morning and watching a Sally game. Yes, sir, because waking up is hard to do. Ba -ba 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 back in the game, number 17. Uh, feeds <laughs> oh, it right wow. over to nine. Nice. Watch it. Wow, you think I was a former rapper or something? I don't know. Uh, puck right out there. Oh, I thought that might have gone in. It great like work. It. Great work by Parsons, who's digging. Feeds it right to Glenn. Glenn handles that puck. Look at the wheels. I love the edge work of uh, Glenn. Yeah, she's a really good hockey player. Very good with her skates. And oh, oh my god! That went off of number 17, Parsons, who gets the fifth goal of the game for the Outlaws. And runs away. <laughs> Unbelievable, Green. Um, I don't know if that's his first goal of the season or not. It might be. Um, I don't know. It definitely could be, Green. I don't Let's see this. Here we go. Glenn right to the point. The point, point has a shot. Look at that stick work nice. by number 17, Parsons. It also bounced off of a Ridge Meadows wrestler yep. skate in the back of the net. But Parsons is the last one to touch it. He gets the goal. And a boy, Parsons. A beautiful goal by Parsons. Be proud of that one, kiddo. Yes, sir. I love the stick tape, too. Me, too. Uh, candy can style. I like when kids get decorative on the ice. Yeah, man. Why not? Why not, man? I like candy cane stick tape. I like flame stick tape. That's about it. <laughs> Back in the action we go. It's a really short list. Thanks for letting us know. Well, I'm, I was making my list and checking it twice. <laughs> no, two <laughs> things twice. Oh, oh nice, nice work by Stelp. As uh, number nine, Blanchett throws that puck out. 
Now it's out of the zone as, uh, man, you know what? I, I'm having a look right now. Parsons is hungry after that goal. You can hey, see. Hey, he wants another one. He wants another one. He's skating for it. He's working hard. I love to see it, Green. It reminds me of my own kid. Uh, number four, Gatson making moves. And Renan makes it. Oh, he got it. Gatson falls up and unloads the Gat for the second time this game. Wow, this game is crazy. Six I mean, to nothing. I would not think that watching this nope. game because the wrestlers have been doing great as well. It's not really a one-sided game nope. at all. Green, you can only thank Auburton if you're a Coquitlam Outlaws fan for keeping this a six-nothing game for the Coquitlam Outlaws. Look at that goal, though. Great work by Gatson to follow up on the rebound and put that one home. I think the Outlaws have just been putting a lot of pucks on net, using the point a lot, just putting just. Like I said, put them on that. If your eyes have been open green, you've also seen that the Ridge Meadows yeah. wrestlers have been doing the same, and Auburton has made a lot of saves here tonight. Yes, sir. Six to nothing, all thanks to Auburton, I would say. Yes, and sir. Obviously, the goal scorers as well. They have some part in this. Some. Just a some. little bit. Just some. I mean, a small portion of it. It's mainly Auburton, though. I, <laughs> I just want to make that clear. <laughs> Ah, uh, the smallest portion. Willard going to collect that puck, fires it to the far side boards, right to Stefanucci. Stefanucci uh, to the point, number five. Kane just out of his reaches is picked up by the captain, number seven, Sims. Sims turning around from danger in his uh, in the Ridge Meadows wrestler zone. Loses the handle, picked oh, it nice right back move. up. Nice move by Sims. Has a shot just over the net of Renaud. That was crazy. It Dude, was that kid indeed moves. crazy. Crazy is what you call it, Green. Crazy is what it is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I believe that there's number five. A, number five, nice indeed. Oh, man. Lukianenko. That's a tough name to say. I don't think we've said it yet. But uh, uh, Nope. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe I just skip some of the tough names, right? <laughs> and just call them by the numbers. Just <laughs> <laughs> Slaughter has a Oh, man. Slaughter oh. gets taken down by number 15 men. And I would say that's a penalty. 100% that's a penalty. Man. Referee caught that one. They're going to call a trip in. That is definitely, you know what? Good ref in here tonight, Green. Yeah, really good. I like it. We've seen a lot of good ref in. There's a chop right there by number <laughs> 10, Lee. Away. <laughs> Lee took a chop. And then also number 15 men gave a little shove. And then trips over the leg of the downed Ridge Meadows wrestlers player. So uh, number 15, Min, is going to have to go take a seat in detention. Yep. The ref's like, did you know what you did wrong? He's like, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all know. We see Oh, that. wow. What a backhand snipe by Slaughter. Oh, that was beautiful. Where did that come from? <laughs> I was just going to say that. Like, where Holy. did that come from? That was one of the best goals of the game. Like, keep doing that. That was the first one for Ridge Meadows. Look at that. Nice work by number 14. Yes. Hobbs to throw it. And on the rebound, on the backhand, Slaughter absolutely slaughtered Auburton. Dude, that was really nice. A fantastic goal. I'm happy that Ridge Meadows wrestlers have got one on the board right now. Yeah, um, me too. They needed it. Just because we're non-biased and I like to see an even game. Yeah, we're mostly here for the goalies. I mean, and it has been an even game. Hey, you see what I'm back I did, that? I did. You, awesome. you doubled back. Yeah. Up, up. You doubled back <laughs> around. Way to go, Aaron Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. And they're applying pressure. Another nice save by Auburton. It's all been the goalies here tonight. You see what I did? <laughs> Dude, all of a sudden, Rich Meadows is like, Bringing it on, man. I don't know why you say all of a sudden. We watched the first period. They dominated. Mean, like, they're I mean, actually like, doing really, really good. stepping it up, man. They're like... You I mean, they got, a, they got a sick goal just now. You need to watch this game back and see how many chances that they have had. Millions. Yes. You, you take what I say way too literal. Of course I do. Yes. Of course I do. I just meant, like, they're really hungry for more goals right now. What did you like actually that? mean? Well, <laughs> literally. break it down for you. <laughs> back in the action we I'd go. I'd like to take a second. Uh, I'm going to cut you off. As Stelp has the puck. <laughs> Stelp on the far side throws it behind the net of Auburton. It's collected by Slaughter. Ooh. Fresh off of that goal. Almost uh, got another one there, Green. Yeah, he almost got a sharp angle, though. This is tough. It was. Uh, 13. Willard throws that puck. Ooh, man. Trickily. Trickily handled by Auburton. Didn't that look like it went behind the net? It was a. It, it was weird. Skimmed off of him. Yeah. Like, like a kid skipping rocks in the ocean. It kind of skipped <laughs> off of him at an <laughs> awkward angle. And there's a body being thrown right there. I don't know what happened. I was too busy yeah, looking down at the whiteboard good. and daydreaming in my own world about skipping rocks when I was a kid and how relaxing it is. And there's a whistle on the play. It must have been offside. I wish someone would have skipped you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd skip the dishes, Green, instead of... Uh, I'm hungry, actually. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, Anybody yeah. bring any food up here? We're no, hungry. no. Sorry, Green. Unfortunately, you don't. You don't need to eat Ooh. anymore. If anyone doesn't need to eat anymore, it is you. Uh, <laughs> back in the action we go. Go quit them outlaws. Number seven, Sims. Oh, nice wow. defensive work by the Ridge Meadows wrestlers. Really good defensive work. Eh? It was indeed, Green. And let's save the chirping for the older games. These are kids' house oh, games. Oh yeah, I always forget. Right, let's man. keep it nice and clean. Let's keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> you just called me fat. Uh, well, no, I didn't. <laughs> I just said you need to skip a meal. You've, oh, already, you've already eaten too much today. Right, right. You're only supposed to eat, you know. Oh, oh wow! How did the Coquitlam Outlaws player not score there? And that's the end of the game. What a game. The 6 1 for the Outlaws over the wrestlers. And Great a fantastic game. game. Incredible game. Oh, dude. man. Both goalies played yep. fantastic. Both teams had so many chances. That was a uh, game of goaltenders, Green. I'm yeah. going to go out on a note with that. Oh, my God. And look, both hip checking kids out there. The goalies uh, must have had at least a trillion saves there. Yeah, yeah, he did. Did you see that? Uh, Coach Bo was just throwing bombs out yeah, there. Yeah, who does that? Just destroying his kids. <laughs> dropping his own players. Yeah, he wasn't, he, it's like he wasn't happy enough with that 6-1 <laughs> win. Thank you and good night from Poirier Sporting Whatever Complex. Uh, like and subscribe.